Hi there. Are you looking for a new apartment and maybe you are checking out Craigslist? I personally am relocating from Minneapolis to San Francisco and looking through all these ads can really start wrecking your eyes. You know, you may have a specific price, you may have a pet, maybe you're looking for a particular neighborhood and now with this nice drop down that Craigslist has, you can quickly come in here and check, but this takes forever. What happens if you miss a listing? Where are these places located? Never fear, I found a great tool called PadMapper, which will help you save time and money so you can nab the apartment of your dreams. Let me show you how it works. You go to padmapper.com and down here in the lower left-hand corner, you go ahead and plug in where you're looking for. In this case, we're already in San Francisco and I'm gonna zoom out so you can see. This is San Francisco. There we go, kind of looks like a thumb. Right, and they say it's seven miles by seven miles. So let's go ahead and zoom in. And what you can do here is it says filter listings in the lower left hand corner. If you click on the plus sign, you can define the amount of rent that you're willing to pay. So in this case, let's say zero to 1900. Of course, would I ever want to pay zero? Probably not. So in this case, I'm going to say maybe like um, 1000, right? Because maybe I'd be willing to share with someone or do a sublet and I could find something for a thousand. And then for bedrooms, uh, I'm going to pick studios to one bedrooms and at least one bathroom. That'd be nice. Now, what's maximum price per bedroom? I'll skip that. And then how old do I want the listings to be? Well, I'm looking for the latest and the greatest, right? So I'm going to say they can't really be older than one day. I want all the new stuff that just came out, right? And if you want to put in a specific keyword, like for San Francisco, loft would be a, a popular term. But you see now, nothing shows up. So... I say cast your net a little bit wider. The same for animals. Here we go. You can also specify, I only want to see places that have pictures. You know, pictures really make the difference. Otherwise, you have to email someone and say, hey, do you have a picture? It's up to you. Now, I have a cat and a dog. So what I've been doing is clicking dog. Maybe you'd want to click cat or not. In this case, I will click dog. But you'll notice the difference. There are a lot of listings, and then when I click dog, it goes down to like less than a third. So quite challenging. Here you can say if you want to look at items that are not sublets, a sublet is something that's temporary, or if you do want to look at sublets as well, your choice. The cool thing is it'll search Craigslist and apartments.com and for rent. I think um, apartments.com just has crap stuff and for rent I'm really not interested in. Ideally for me, I'm looking for a great apartment that someone is moving out of. Maybe they're the owner, maybe it's a condo, and it's awesome. So with that said, this is already cool in itself. Let's see how it works. I'm going to click on this item and it shows me thumbnails of the pictures. It has the title that it pulled from Craigslist, how many bedrooms it has, uh, what, how it compares in terms of the median price to other locations. And then, very cool, it has all of the information I need right down here. Here's the email address, the phone number, and then where it came from. I guess you can do quick mail and then just quick mail lets you send an email Oh, from within PadMapper. You can also save this to your favorites. It'll turn it green for you. And you can quickly get down to street view. Uh, walk score is something that they do in big cities to show like how friendly it is to get around on foot. I'm selling my car, so this is a good example. I'd want a high walk score. If you just click right here, it'll go ahead and open up the listing for you. And then you can quickly scroll through the original item. I personally would not be interested in this apartment because the windows aren't all that big. It looks like maybe you could put a bed in here. It just, this is pretty lackluster. And actually this is a pretty scary bathroom. So, but that's a good example of how it works though. Now you may already be thinking, well, that's pretty cool, Adria, because quickly I can see where I want to live. I'm totally clicking on places I'd want to live, right? But guess what? There's a one more feature I haven't shown you yet about PadMapper, which makes it kick ass. Ready? Watch. Down here it says in the lower left, subscribe to this view filter search. That's right, folks. You can receive hourly alerts or daily alerts. What I did at first in the last couple of weeks is I was doing uh, daily, which summarizes all of the things it finds. Now that I'm less than two weeks away from moving to San Francisco, I've switched to hourly and I am getting all these good results. I'm able to respond very quickly. My only challenge now, though, is I'm currently in Minneapolis, so I can't actually go to any viewings until I get there. So if you are very close to looking for a place, you certainly would want to go ahead and choose hourly. That way, while you're at work, you don't have to be, now look, see I typed in, <laughs> but your work, a, but you're a girl.com. Now you don't have to be at work scrolling through hundreds of listings, 
trying to find one, you know, where is Inner Richmond? Where is Pacific Heights? What do these places look like? Instead, you can quickly see on a map, I'm going to go ahead and subscribe again. All right, we'll just click that. I'm subscribed, great, with dogs. You know, and it's very easy. I could then switch it up and say, I want to do cats, and then subscribe again, and then I'll get uh, two different items. There we go, subscribe. So with that, folks, that's how it works. Go, make sure you go ahead and check out my uh, YouTube page for more videos, which you can find right here. And I talk about all sorts of uh, interesting and cool stuff. Thanks. Take care.